G'day, another quick video. Uh, this is the job I'm at, doing at the moment at home. It involves all these lithium titanate batteries hooked up to the Grow Watt SP2000. Now, the SP2000 isn't made anymore and it basically converts your older inverter into a battery compatible inverter. So I've got the Grow Watt 4200 MTL and a whole bunch of uh, 33 amp hour 2.3 volt lithium titanate batteries and it's going to be a 48 volt system so using aluminium buzz bars uh, these leads are for the BMS it's an active BMS um, as you can see up here it's different to the standard uh, hasn't been hooked up yet of course if we go back down here you'll see that some of these batteries were purchased already connected together some of them were purchased as singles some of them were purchased as a four pack basically the same 33 amp hour on each one so it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 plus the 3 that's 190 uh, what is that um, 3, 6, 9 98, 196. Anyway, almost 200 amps of power there. So we're looking at um, 200 by 48, so roughly 200 by 5. It's a very close to a between a 9 and 10 kilowatt battery backup system. So these are all basically re-covered or non-genuine versions of uh, the original 33 amp hour batteries that are used in vehicles in China um, and they seem to stack up to what they say I've tested them out so i would be interested to see how this goes but for now still working on it as you can see got two arrays coming in up into the SP2000 haven't got the power coming out yet and it's saying they're waiting on charging order and then it flicks over saying battery voltage low obviously because it can't sense the battery um, this system doesn't need uh, the BMS connected as long as you change the setting to tell it that it is a lead acid battery system uh, which basically tricks it um, and then your active BMS takes over all that responsibility but you must uh, use a program and hook up your laptop to change the settings now that was quite complicated but with a bit of searching on the internet I got it all sorted and basically you have to go in and change some of the hard set coding um, it's a letter in the system's serial number that uh, allows it to run without the um, BMS port being connected. Uh, what still needs to be connected though is your little temperature probe sitting there. That still needs to run into it. If that's not connected the system doesn't work at all regardless. Also got the Wi-Fi hanging off an extension cord just temporarily. But the original system um, is over here, MTL 4200. It's got the array coming in from the um, solar array, and the other one is from the SP2000, which is bypassed at the moment. Okay, um, hopefully, bring you some more detail later on. Have a bit of a look at where this all is. 
Oh, I need to get one of those steady cam things. This is my garage. Well, carport. It's all on the wall there. And that's going to have a door on it eventually protecting them. Positive side of the terminals, clearly marked. Stainless steel bolts used in there. Conductive grease underneath. Uh, pretty simple wooden frame. Just painted it up. And that's it, folks.